Oh, no bad idea. Oh, shit. Be advised that the weather on Mount Mitchell is extremely unpredictable. Fuck. Fuck me. Please don't make it rain super hard on us. <laughs> I think I'm about to pass out. <laughs> okay, apparently we just reached Bear Sanctuary. But <laughs> I I don't know if we're gonna make it, dude. This is starting to get a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Is that you? With the red bag. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Welcome to Georgia, dude. Thank you. It's a long way from Denver Airport. Oh, here, wait. Say cheese. Cheese. Let me introduce you guys to Andrew. I don't know a whole lot about Andrew because, well, he's a complete stranger. All I know about Andrew is what I've seen from his Instagram. He could be a murderer for all I know, but it's fine. We're just planning to go on a hike up a pretty secluded mountain where there's absolutely no phone service and if you wanted to get away with murder, this would probably be the easiest way to do it. But let's not think about that. A couple weeks prior to meeting up, Andrew had messaged me on my Discord server with a sincere message about getting lost in the grind of life and wanting to go out of his comfort zone. I then suggested the idea of possibly climbing a mountain together since it's something that I've always wanted to do. And thus, this is how our plan was put into place. What are your What are your mountain climbing skills like? Uh, okay. They're terrible. Like, They're terrible. so bad. Have you ever climbed a mountain before? I have. Really? Mount Beardstad in Colorado. How was it? Did you die? Uh, I made it a mile up and I threw up and went back because nice. I had no sleep. How about you, Mountain? I put three skill points into hiking when I first started. Yeah. So the only way we're gonna figure out how to climb a mountain, I think, is WikiHow. They have everything on there. Of course. Yeah. Step one, do your research. That's what we're doing. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're on the way, baby. On the right track. On the right track. <laughs> Assess your mental strength. Strength. How is your guys' mental strength? Uh, pretty good, I think. Mm. What's two plus two? Four. Okay, we're good. I don't know if that's a good assessment. Um, number three, get fit. <laughs> we're a little late on that. Well, I mean, if we don't get like every single part of this, then we should read this stuff, you know. Not just like nah. the titles. No, come on, we say titles. Do you know who Wiki Have happened? you ever climbed a mountain before? Shut up. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, I think we're just about ready. So we went to Walmart to pick up all the gear we needed to survive. Let me show you guys what we got. One three-person tent, 20 Lunchables as they're a great source of protein, one loaf of bread so we will not get lost, three pairs of anti-bear underwear, don't forget it, that's the most important thing, a whole bag of random items that include a rope, ponchos, fishing equipment, and a poop shovel, an axe for defensive purposes obviously, and heat warmers for if it gets cold. And that is about everything you will need for survival. Found footage film probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so which way do we have to go? Um, now you, it's your question. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude! Oh no, we are so fucked. Um, but I've never been more excited for possibly dying in my entire life. <laughs> How about you? One like equals one not passing away. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I really want to slide down that hill with the sleeping bag, but also I don't feel like untying my sleeping bag. This is the going down a hill in a sleeping bag. Jackass. My bag ripped. No. No, like it's rip. ripping worse. <laughs> like rip rip. This is stick stuck in my sleeping bag. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> oh, so I almost forgot to mention before we started our hike, we were rated by professional survivalists and each given a survival rating. Andrew stands at astounding 10 feet tall and actually is in shape. Once fought a grizzly bear and only came back with a small scratch on his pinky. Really, and I mean really, bad at Mario Party. Survival rating, 10%. Matt, too. 
probably knows the most about survival out of anyone in the group. Owns an axe, and that's pretty cool. Pretty good at Mario Party, possibly better than Aiden, but it's usually a toss-up. Survival rating, 45%. Aiden has not worked out since high school and possibly photoshops his photos to make himself look super buff. Claims he is in fact better than Matt 2 at Mario Party, but really loses every time. He does have pepper spray dough. Survival rating, 165%. Will these three survivalists be able to survive and make it to the top of the highest mountain east of the Mississippi River? I guess we'll have to see on Nature Boys. That was that was a really dumb bit. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> survival tip number 23. Always bring slingshots so you can hunt for food. Oh, you see that squirrel or something? There's someone over there. Oh, I think you hit it. Yeah. Dude, I think you hit it. Dude, you hit it. Nice. You got it. Oh, no Good. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I actually just almost died. Oh, I didn't know those were uh, wild around here. But it's pretty yeah, cool. They're indigenous. We we indigenous there, yeah. We're kind of in a little bit of a pickle because we got to get up here for the sunset so we can set up camp. And we got about 30 minutes before the sun sets. And I don't know how far we're gonna have to go until we find somewhere to camp, because as of right now, we have I don't know if we could camp in there. We're almost halfway there. Halfway there. Woo! Penis! Penis! Eat that. <laughs> Penis! Penis! Penis. Yeah, you might have won. Let's fucking try to hurry up before the sun sets completely. <laughs> before we lose complete vision of anything. We're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked. Oh no, dude, it's dark. <laughs> I can barely see anything. <laughs> and it's wet. Really muddy. <laughs> this is major, major issues. Just gonna fucking. Oh, no, bad idea. Oh, oh shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Oh no. Hold on, let me hold this. Uh, you have shit to wipe it on? You're alive. I really thought you were dead. <laughs> I was talking to the camera. I was like, dude, Matt, gone. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Will we ever see him? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but you're back. Wait. How do you know this is really me? Oh. Yo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, yo. I think I'm about to pass out. <laughs> <sighs> so we found a campsite. <laughs> and we built a tent. Wow, let me give you the grand tour. Yeah, this is this is base camp. We got a tent set up in here. We got lunchables, and out here we got hi. <laughs> we got a fire kind of going. Okay, so funny story about the fire though. It took us about an hour to get this fire going, and I swear we're not dumb. All the wood around us was super wet, so nothing was really catching. But we had a plan B, which was to set Andrew's extra pair of jogging pants on fire in hopes that that would start the fire. Spoiler alert, it worked, and uh, we celebrated a little bit after that. My baby's a sailboat captain at sea. We don't give a damn, we do as we please. My baby's a sailboat captain at sea. My gal is a good one, tails when she's mine. Wish I was better looking, baby, don't mind. My gal is a good one, tails when she's mine. All I ever wanted was to make you happy Give you a true Hand and then to make you love There's a question that I got Do they milk gators to get Gatorade? Yeah Yeah? I've seen it Really? I've seen it Yeah So then how do they make Powerade? Do they milk me? Yeah, they, uh. <laughs> they milk the most powerful man Oh, then that's definitely me. <laughs> Most definitely. Where do they milk you though? I hope it's not my wiener. I, hope, I really hope it's not my wiener. I hope they like just like pull on my earlobe or something. They like caress your nipples. Oh, that's kind of hot actually. Are we live? Yeah. Have you ever done this? Yeah, once. No, I don't think you're supposed to rub it in. Oh, you're not? No, you're supposed to have the gloves, so it doesn't actually burn you. Oh, God. 
up! We what happened? Oh my god! What the hell happened? <laughs> Dude, that just singed. It just singed my hair. Is that it? Did it hurt? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it hurt. It didn't even do like a cool flame. It just burned. He's me. into his design. <laughs> On the bright side, though, it's not burn piss. Burn piss smells way yeah, worse. That's facts. That is facts. <laughs> that is awful. Yo, he's peeing on the fire. You can't really see it. Oh! Oh! oh the wind just blew this way. That's so gross. Oh! It's so fucking cold. <laughs> Rising My toes are falling off. Your toes. <laughs> After a mediocre night of rest and a nice healthy breakfast lunchable, I'm kind of running out of sauce here. We might have to go hunting for some more. <laughs> we played some Uno to prepare for the rest of our hike, which would result in the loser getting shot by Matt Slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went back to hiking. Oh, he did that smooth. Okay. You sound like you're dying, but it's I fine. Dying <laughs> okay, apparently we just reached Bear Sanctuary. What do you think? Glad I got my, my, my anti-bear underwear on right now. Ball flight. I'm gonna kill you. Oh no. <laughs> 6,500 feet. One 5.5. Gone, God knows how much. Oh my God. <laughs> We're almost there guys, we have Half a mile, boys. Half a mile. This is the last stretch. That close. Last stretch. So, what made you want to go on this this trip? <laughs> uh, I guess I was like really bored in my life. Like, I felt like I was like not doing shit with it. So, I wanted to like kind of do something different. And, like, this is a lot different than like anything I've ever done. <laughs> climbing a mountain with two strangers. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It's just. I don't know, I just like feel like I need to get out of my comfort zone more. And, like that just like makes for a better life. So you gotta seek uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> seek uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright. <God. laughs> Did not steal that from any any other YouTube channels. <laughs> but yeah, I just, just I don't know. It's a topic where I feel like so accomplished to myself. I know, I just I, I'm glad we're doing it. It's it's tiring. But Oh, yeah, I know. I'm like, so I'm about to go to sleep. Like, I'm gonna just pass the fuck out, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, bro. Yo, final stretch, go. To the gift shop. There's a gift shop up here. No. Yeah, this is horrible, actually. Why did I run this? Okay. Let's... Uh, <laughs> Joe, for a second, actually, bad idea to run. I thought we were a lot closer than we were. Highest peak east of the Mississippi River. Elevation 6,684 feet. We actually made it. This whole journey was such a crazy experience for me. I uh, probably should have listened to that WikiHow article because I was really not prepared at all. But these guys really helped push me to keep going even though we were all super exhausted. After around 18 hours of being on this mountain, we finally reached the top. And I know this isn't like Everest or anything, but I'm super proud of myself for making it. I don't usually do things like this, so it was super cool to get out of my comfort zone and accomplish that goal. Even if shortly after we reached the top, we found out you could just drive up the side of the mountain. But I guess that cliche of, it's not the destination, but the journey, is kind of true in this instance, because that would have been super lame. On top of everything, this was just a great bonding experience with the nature boys, and I hope they enjoyed these moments as much as I did. Cheers to our last Lunchable meal together, because I will never eat those again after this experience.
Piper, come climb a mountain. Maybe. No, you, <laughs> ha- you have to. It's the rules. No I really want no to. Balls. No, no balls, no balls. You have to. She <laughs> has to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, but I'm confused which mountain. The whole entire Blue oh, Ridge man. Mountain. We can't climb a whole mountain range in six days. Five days. Maybe like half of it. <laughs> Three days, easy. 